Tesla's Pure Vision Autopilot is already rolling out in the United States because Tesla is ditching radar and will rely on cameras for autopilot in some uh, cars. Uh, let me give you the highlights first before I uh, present what Tesla exactly told in its blog. So Tesla announced Tuesday that it is ditching radar in favor of camera-based system to enable autopilot features in its Model 3 and Model Y vehicles in North America. CEO Elon Musk had said Tesla would move to a pure vision approach in a tweet on March 20, uh, on March 12, and um, other automakers, including GM Cruise, Alphabets, Vimo, and Aura, um, Aurora, are using radar and lidar alongside cameras in their automated driving system. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story and share it social media, please. So Tesla CEO Elon Musk Musk recently announced that Pure Vision Autopilot is now rolling out in North America. Tesla has been working on its no radar autopilot and full self-driving FSD approach for quite some time, relying to a um, uh, Pure Vision. Tesla will bring this new um, uh, 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 way of uh, visioning the car self-driving and, and Tesla has a blog saying transitioning to Tesla vision. So first let me introduce you friends what Tesla says in its blog. So let's hear from Tesla first. We are continuing the transition to Tesla vision our camera based autopilot system. Beginning with deliveries in May 2021 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market will no longer be equipped with radar. Instead, these will be the first Tesla vehicles to rely on camera vision and neural net processing to deliver autopilot, full cell driving, and certain active safety features. Customers who ordered before May 2021 and are matched to a car with Tesla Vision will be notified on the change through their Tesla accounts prior to delivery. For a short period during this transition, cars with Tesla Vision may be delivered with some features temporarily limited or inactive, including auto steer, will be limited to a maximum speed of 75 miles per hour and longer minimum following distance. Smart summons, if equipped, and emergency lane departure avoidance may be disabled at delivery. In the weeks ahead, we will start restoring these features via a serious series of over-the-air software updates all other available autopilot and full self-driving features will be active at delivery depending on order configuration. All new Model S and Model X, as well as all vehicles built for markets outside of North America, will continue to be equipped with radar and will have radar supported autopilot functionality until we determine the appropriate time to transition those vehicles to Tesla Vision. Here, Tesla also adds two paragraphs named frequently asked questions. I'm going to present them to you as well so you know what to expect um, from them. So uh, in its paragraph, Tesla says, now the first question is, how do I know if my car is equipped with radar? Tesla says, starting with deliveries in May 2021, Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market will be optimized for Tesla Vision and will not be equipped with radar. If you ordered a car before May and are matched to a car that is not equipped with radar, you will be notified of the change in your Tesla account prior to delivery. And the second question, Tesla says, uh, so the second question is, why aren't Model S and Model X transitioning now? Tesla says the following. Model 3 and Model Y are our higher volume vehicles. Transitioning them to Tesla Vision first allows us to analyze 
a large volume of real-world data in a short amount of time, which ultimately speeds up the rollout of futures based on Tesla vision. So this is what Tesla said. What Tesla didn't say is that Tesla didn't offer any more information about when it would stop building radar sensors in the Model S and Model X or the vehicles it's building in China. The company actually stopped making the Model S and Model X in the first quarter of 2021 as it re, um, radiated a new version of each vehicle. You know, the refreshed models are coming on Model S and Model X. Those redesigned versions have been delayed, though a launch event for the new Model S is scheduled next week and people are looking for a lot of interesting things and uh, uh, some certain uh, expectations they have from the uh, that re uh, launching event. And I probably will uh, in introduce some of that as well here. Now, radar sensors are common in many modern passenger cars, friends, as well as trucks and uh, SUVs. They are used to help detect fast approaching objects, even in poor visibility, and are one of the sensors that power uh, safety features like automatic, automatic emergency braking. While modern cars also pull data from other sensors, including cameras, to power these features, automakers like to have multiple types of make sure that there is, that there is redundancy. If one type of sensor fails or can't perform in a certain situation, there is always a backup. Elon Musk has somewhat famously spent years saying he didn't think laser-based LiDAR sensors were necessary to develop semi and fully autonomous vehicles. But he recently started uh, talking a lot more about switching Tesla to a vision-based system that mainly relied on the eight cameras embedded in each car and 12 ultrasonic sensors as well as a neural network processing of the real-time feeds they generate. In April, the company wrote in a press release that a vision-only system is ultimately all that is needed for full autonomy. Here's what Tesla said. Our AI-based software architecture has been increasingly reliant on cameras to the point where radar is becoming unnecessary earlier than expected, Tesla wrote. The company said at the time that it was nearly ready to switch to US market to Tesla Vision. We took Apple AirTag. Um, uh, uh, so uh, actually, I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I wasn't going to say anything about Apple, but uh, you see right now we're seeing that Tesla is switching earlier than uh, they expected to uh, reach. Let me know, friends, your thoughts on this. Uh, what do you think about uh, LIDAR, radar versus pure vision? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let's continue the discussion in the comments section. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage and share in social media, giving us thumbs up, please. Have a great day. I'll see you soon in our next report.